नमस्ते फार्मर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर स्पेशल शो ऑफ किसान बंधु ऑन ओपन सी केज कल्चर वी हैव रिसीव्ड ए प्लेंटी ऑफ लेटर्स फ्रॉम फार्मर्स ऑल ओवर द कंट्री टू नो अबाउट ओपन सी केज टेक्नोलॉजी दिस लॉट ऑफ एंथुजियाजम एंड क्यूरियासिटी टू नो अबाउट दिस न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी ओवरऑल वी हैव रिसीव्ड मोर देन थाउजेंड क्वेरीज एंड टुडे वी हैव विथ अस ए टीम ऑफ एक्सपर्ट्स टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट ओपन सी केज कल्चर लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस द टीम ऑफ एक्सपर्ट्स टू यू एंड we have dr tarakeshwar dr tarakeshwar is heading the central institute of fisheries and education mumbai and he was earlier with food and agriculture organization we have also with us dr ruth dr ruth is dean college of fisheries tripura she is expert on fish taxonomy and biology we also have with us a progressive farmer from tamil nadu miss subalakshmi miss subalakshmi is a prime minister award winner for adopting new technologies in agriculture in addition we have with us dr jaydeep prokade he is a principal scientist from central marine fisheries research institute cochin he is a he has a vast experience of 20 area 20 years in this particular areas last but not the least we have dr renki dr renki is a principal scientist central inland fisheries research institute kolkata she is expert on fish production and management practices let me start the show with asking the first question dr tarakeshwar dr tarakeshwar can you please explain what is open sea cage culture to our farmers cage culture is when fishes are reared in lake stream reservoir or sea by placing nets or wire cages in such a way that constant water flow were maintained to renew the oxygen supply and to remove the waste product cages are of generally two types fixed and floating cages size may vary from 1 to 500 square meter several cages small cages are arranged in a battery which is suitable for intensive cage culture overall we can say that uh, open sea cage culture is a new technology with huge de- huge demand thank you dr tarakeshwar i think you have given a very beautiful explanation of what open sea cage culture to our farmers now i would like to ask dr jaydeep dr jaydeep what is the criteria for site selection for open sea cage culture uh, thank you arvind ji selection of site for the cage culture is very uh, important since the lot of success depend upon the proper site selection site should be 6 to 8 meter deep site should have good quality water and also it should be located away from the source of pollution also site should be safe from the uh, local disturbance from the local people and grazing animal also cages should be placed in such a way that it should not hinder navigation in generally uh, site should have wind velocity of less than 5 knots for the fixed cages and less than 10 knots for the floating cages thank you dr jaydeep i think you have given very crucial information of site selection for open sea cage culture now i would like to ask dr ruth about what are the appropriate fish species used for open sea cage culture yes mr arvind a selection of species for open sea cage culture is based on a number of biological criteria like omnivore or carnivore fast growing hardiness availability of eggs and efficient feed conversion economic marketability and demand are also taken into consideration high value species like cobia pompano sea bream and sea bras are ideal uh, in addition the rearing of lobsters and prawns has proven to be highly lucrative lastly the species are hardy making them tolerant to confined in crowded conditions thank you dr ruth i think this key information of appropriate species selection will enable our farmers to reap more benefits out of open sea cage culture i think apart from species selection cage management practice is another important area now now i would like to ask dr rinki what are the appropriate cage management practices used in open sea cage culture thank you mr arvind ji cage culture management is aimed to get maximum production with minimum cost the management should be so efficient that the cultured fish should grow with the expected speed with respect to the feeding rate and the other parameters the net and the cage should be inspected on routine basis any spoilage should be carried uh, should be corrected with respect of the time and to avoid spoiling the net should be changed within 2 to 4 week depending on the intensity of fouling thank you dr rinki i think this key information of cage management practices will help our farmers to minimize losses and get more farmers more profits i think ms subalakshmi is the right person to talk on this uh, issue thank you mr arvind i have been practicing cage culture for the last 5 years and found to be very profitable i have started this cage culture with a low investment of just 1 lakh rupees and therefore this can be easily initiated by any farmers setting up of a cage is a simple process as cage is readily available in the markets 
The fishes are safe from predators in cage culture techniques. And the feed is ve- the cost of feed is very less as the sea water contains the natural feed. Then harvesting is a simple and rapid process as the area of the cage is limited. So I assured out of my personal experience that with this cage culture technique, high profit can be achieved by the farmers. Thank you, Mr. Balakshmi. I think your experience will inspire our farmers to adopt this open sea cage culture. And I also uh, hope our farmers will take into consideration the suggestions given by the experts experts who have come over here. And on behalf of my farmers, I would like to thank all the experts, Dr. Tarakeshwar, Dr. Ruth, Ms. Balakshmi, Dr. Jaitip, and Dr. Rinki. Okay. For further details, you can contact post box number 3642. Naam Rajendra Nagar, Hyderabad, 500030. Okay. With this, we come to the end of show today, and next time we can meet on the same show on another important issue. Thank you.